All right, we're working on the 91 Avant today. It's a beautiful day in Colorado, the sun's out. And uh, this car, when I purchased it, had a multitude of issues with the right rear door here. Um, one, the, uh, the easiest thing I fixed was the door wouldn't open from the inside and come to find out there's actually a child lock which somehow was engaged, but I uh, turned that off, got that to work. Second issue, the uh, door locks would not work. And this has like a pivot thing that goes up and down. And right in the center of this hole here, you can't really see it, but there's actually a pivot bolt and there was nothing in there. So I'm not sure what it was. I actually found like a door clip like one of these that I just popped into there and pushed the thing and it held the pivot in position. So we're good to go on that one. Third thing, the rear speakers are not working and I pulled the door panel off and actually it was unhooked. I tried hooking it back up, it still wouldn't work. So I've got another issue going on there. And then fourth issue is the rear window would not roll down from either the master switch or from this switch here so i actually bought this switch on ebay they're like six dollars and it's actually the exact same uh, switch that it came with I pop that in it didn't work so I started chasing a wiring problem here so if you check power here test light comes on and then to the best of my ability here I uh see if I can't prop that up check the uh kind of hard to see there test lights coming on and off and I have, think how this works is it reverses polarity on these two wires going to the actual window motor and so the middle wire is your power feed I'm thinking this wire is the signal from the driver switch, but as far as I can tell, there's no ground occurring on this white with black trace wire. So, kind of started playing around with that here. Um, typical vehicles where these pass-throughs go through sometimes wear out and break over time. So, I checked this one, it's good go back around to the uh, driver side here and I'll show you what I found on the pass through for the driver window here I pulled this back and lo and behold here is that white with black tracer wire broken completely in a hat in half as long or, uh, as well as whatever this brown wire is and a couple other ones broken in here so I'm surprised these things aren't all shorted together, but uh, I'm gonna do some repairs on this, get these fixed, and uh, we're gonna test that again there. All right, so I found a couple, this is a really bad spot to be doing wiring repairs, as you can imagine, trying to get your crimpers in here, but I found the white with black tracer wire, and then the green, green with yellow tracer. I put some heat splices on them there in and then uh the other couple i was able to get some um insulated electrical tape on there and they weren't broken all the way through but they definitely had some insulation missing so i've got both those in there i believe that green wire was also for the right rear window so we're gonna fire this thing up here I'm going to try it from the passenger side switch here first. So, uh, looks like it's actually lit up now, which is a good thing. And window's going down and up. So, I would imagine that's the first time this window has worked in a long time. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it all together. I'm going to make a second video about this uh, speaker wiring because, as you can see, we've got that Pioneer 
unit. Looks like the Audi factory Delta radio must have gone out at one point and somebody put that in, but there's no uh, provisions for each rear speaker. So I suspect that there's some kind of a amplifier or module. I just need to figure out where these wires go to. And I'm gonna make a second video about that when I figure that one out. But um, let's go back around and try the window from the master switch here. Audi 200 Avant 20 valve turbo 1991 video. Follow me for more of these. Thank you.